Iron Man. Yeah, buddy. A great way to start off to the Marvel Studios franchise. Great way to start off. All I'm gonna say is when Marvel sat sat down and decided to do this film, they did a great job and they picked the perfect character to start off. Because Robert Downey Jr. and all the and all the actors to play these characters. Because Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Tony Stark slash Iron Man was amazing. Perfect part. Perfect role for him. Terrence Howard is James Rhodes. Um, okay. I said in my other reviews that I really prefer Don Cheadle, but in this in this movie, I I will accept it. I I, I liked how he was portrayed in this role. And then Jeff Bridges, I think by far this is my most favorite um, Iron Man villain so far, because in the movie universe that was not fake. Matter. Oh, what what was that? But yeah, I I really like Obadiah Stane. I think he was really, I think he really was bad. You know, bad. You know, bad guy. And Jeff Bridges, I felt like per did that role so perfect. I couldn't imagine anybody else in that role. Gwyneth Paltrow. Excuse me. Um. Uh, you know. Okay. I've, I've I've talked about her in my past. Reviews. So yeah. Um. A uh, great a uh, great way to start off Marvel Studios. Great way to start off the Iron Man franchise. Great way to start off the Avengers universe. Wait, what's that? God dang it. But, yeah. A great way to start it off. Great character development. You really get into the story right away. Because, you know, it's just, it's just fun to watch. It's an awesome movie. It's spectacular. It's invincible. No. Uh, uh, I can't. Okay, I can't say that. But yes, um, I'd have to say that this is my probably third or fourth favorite solo film beside af post Avengers and Guardians, like with all with Captain America two and Thor and you know and the Incredible Hulk in them. I feel like this is either my third or my fourth because I really liked how everything got set up. I really liked how. Tony and then, um, what's it? Jensen, you know, they came up with this idea to build this armor and get out of there. Although, they didn't, he didn't really talk about it to Jensen, but I felt like it was really good, well done. Um, I like the idea of the Ten Rings, of only, the Mandarin, I feel like he should have been the first villain, but then, you know, it would have been, it really, you, you wouldn't, who would your next villain be? You wouldn't have a next villain, pretty much. But that's the thing, is like, wh wh where could you have went after you did the arch enemy of Iron Man? You know, you can't really go that far. And so, it's just, you know, that's the thing. But, yes, Iron Man was very well done. I really like John Favreau's work in this one. He did a better job on this one and, did, and took more time. You can tell this one... Was taken more time, was had more time taken to it, and dealt very more delicately than Iron Man 2. I have to say, but either way, they're still all great. All of Marvel Studios films are great. Ec um, Fox's and Sony's, um, <laughs> we all know how that goes. Spider Man 3 and Astronauts is last in. <laughs> Sorry, I have a really bad cold, you guys. It's just terrible. But yeah, I really like the Mark III armor. I it's awesome. I like how it came together, the red and gold. It's really awesome. The hot rod red and everything. And I like how the film starts out in the in the present and then goes back. I think it's really done that way. But then you can get some people confused sometimes. But um, it doesn't really matter because it's still a great film and it's always been a great film and it will always be a great film. Um, I don't think anybody can do 
an Iron Man film greater than John Favreau did. Because there is, I don't think there is a way to do anything better than this. But yes, um, Iron Man, I'd have to give five helmet heads. No, five arc reactors out of five. Because I can do that. So what? Because I'm Iron Man.